this week, I made a Christmas present. <laughs> I should just kill two birds with one stone and show you the process that I went through to make a Viking-esque shield. In my opinion, I think it's pretty cool. I kind of go through all of the steps and I show you more or less I did to get to where I have a final product. All right, this is the piece of plywood that I got to make the round shield. It is a two by two. Most of the tutorials that I saw online were for four by fours. So those would be great big, huge circular shields. So this is what I got, um, two by two, like I said, I believe it's about a half an inch wide or thick or whatever you want to call it. Um, I did already mark out um, where everything will be going. I did it with pencil. I'm going to go over it again with a um, Sharpie. So the next steps I will be taking are I will be cutting out along the wide part on the on the outsides. I will be cutting the inside circle right there, this outside circle that you see. That is the going to be the brim, where the brim of the shield boss is going, where I will be making holes to attach it. Um, after that, I will go ahead and, after all of this is cut out, I will go ahead and file down the outer edges and the inner edges so that no one gets any splinters or whatever. I have a couple of different options for the pattern that I'm going to be using. I can't find my jigsaw right now, which is going to be a problem, but that just means I have to, to look more. Because <laughs> uh, I know I have it, I just don't know where it is.
so I know that you're dying to see the final product but um, I will add something that I forgot to add to the other parts of the video I guess is that I also added a strap because I had heard that uh, it's all well and good to have a handle here and it's great and it's fantastic and very useful but it's a little bit more useful to also have a strap for your forearm like right here on your forearm to be able to actually keep it in place because if you just have something right here and something gets like someone knocks on this side or something the rest of it is gonna go this way and if you have it attached here as well as here then you can push on the side all you want. This side's not going to move. Here it is. What? Isn't that pretty? It's so, so pretty. It took about as much effort as I was anticipating. Uh, I did get the idea, the, the basic instructions from a couple of YouTube videos that I watched. Um, mine or I guess not mine, since I'm not keeping this, but um, this is a lot smaller than most of the uh, shields I've seen done on YouTube. Um, most of them, like I said earlier, they tend to use 4x4s, so they're big massive things. This was done with a 2x2 two two piece of plywood, so it's sturdy. It's not going to fall apart on its own. I don't I don't know how well it would hold up to like an axe or something. But if nothing else, it is an interesting bit of artwork. But yeah, here it is. I'm very proud of myself. I did the the whole thing by myself. Um I found the jigsaw and everything, so it was it was relatively easy. There were a couple of points where I was worried. Um, there there was um, the the point in um, a time-lapse video that I had on here where I was cutting out the the middle bit and the the edges and as soon as I turned the camera off I went to start sawing again and the blade broke like it just flung out of there and then there were a lot of um, edits of me trying something and it failing horribly and deciding to go with something else, uh, re refilming other bits. Um, I, I would put a, a drill bit into the, the handheld drill and it wouldn't be the right one or I would want to do something else instead and it just... Whew, you guys were saved a lot of nonsense. So this is it. I'm so, so happy and excited, and I really hope that the person this goes to is as excited as uh, I was. Probably won't be, though. <laughs> I hope they are, though. It's, I made you a fucking shield. This, this, if nothing else, giving someone a shield, I feel, is like being like, dude, I care. I want you to defend yourself. So that's why I'm giving you this bad boy. It's gonna go over well. I, I have no doubt that even if I don't get the response that I'm looking for, it will be well received. I hope. Great. You guys got me second guessing myself. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. This is an awesome gift. I don't know why anybody wouldn't love getting this. Oh, how am I going to wrap this? Okay, anyone who has suggestions on how to wrap something like this, please leave any helpful tips down in the comments below. Um, wow, that's the first time I've ever asked for comments I don't know how that would feel about that anyway um the next video I post is probably gonna be something cheesy and lame probably about family and Christmas or 
something stupid like that, I'm sure. Oh well. In the meantime, I hope you guys have a fantastic day.